homemade butter cookies very tasty the ingredients are easy to get and you can do this in less than an hour if you are new thanks for joining and to my old golden members it's been a while but we are back for my ingredients we need all-purpose flour or soft flour i used soft flour the quantity is on the screen i also use sugar margarine you can use butter and also i used icing sugar i used sunflower oil but this one isn't sunflower oil you see the sunflower oil later i used one egg and i used salt for the essence i used butter scotch essence you can use vanilla essence after i look for a bigger bowl and scoop a room temperature margarine into the bowl you can use butter for this recipe it is going to work perfectly like the margarine but the butter is best after i add the icing sugar i use three teaspoons of icing sugar if you don't have icing sugar it isn't by force to use i also used regular sugar i added three to five teaspoon according to taste and then i added a pinch of salt after adding all these ingredients i take my spatula and then gently mix it together we want the margarine to become soft at this moment it is very hard so we're going to mix it so it becomes very fluffy before we can proceed to add the other ingredients after a while this consistency is perfect for me i proceed to add my sunflower oil you can use sesame oil coconut oil olive oil or any edible oil which is nutritious and flavorful i add my oil and give it a good mix after mixing it well i now crack my egg i make sure to crack the egg outside before putting it closer to the margarine because i don't want to be chewing biscuits or cookies and biting into shells after adding the egg i go ahead to mix it well with my spatula to get a very smooth consistency i added the vanilla essence to it i just added a drop and then i gave it a good mix i don't want the vanilla essence to have a powerful taste in my cookie i want that battery delicious uniform taste in my cookie not a very sharp taste or a very sugary taste after mixing up my butter my egg and the other ingredients i now add the flour my soft flour i decided to add it into three badges the reason why i don't want to add all at once is because it can toughen due to over mixing or it can become hard and the biscuit or the cookie isn't going to be crunchy but i want a flaky delicious cookie so i added it into three badges i first added two and then i added a third one you can work with spatula but at this moment i wanted to use my palm because I wanted to have a good fold, turn it into a round ball so that when I'm shipping it, I wouldn't struggle. So this is the ball, very uniform. I leave it to rest, then I come to now cut it into balls and give it the shape that I want. For the design on my cookie, all I need is a knife and my palm. I take the quantity that I need and then I mold it into a ball form, press it in my palm and then take the knife and slice the top. I don't slice it all through just the top layer of the cookie and this is very helpful guys if you are not using oven and you are using charcoal oven or you are trying to improvise by using suspense to create that atmosphere for your cookie to bake then you have to slice it so that the heat can penetrate and your cookie will be well cooked i did different shapes and i decided to leave some without slicing the top and I realized that the ones that I sliced through bubbled and cooked very well. But the ones that I decided not to slice through were cooked but you could taste some rawness in it. Because when you are working with charcoal, it is not consistent. The flames go high and they go low. You keep removing it and adding more fidgeting with the charcoal so you end up not getting well cooked cookie. But if you have control over your fire, you can decide not to give it a shape. But I prefer to give it a shape because, or I prefer to give it a design because it gives it this crunchy bite. When you are eating store-bought or processed cookie, it gives it that similar taste as if you bought it, but you made it at home. 
so try it out and you wouldn't regret it i have baking sheet but for this cookie i did not have a bigger saucepan to put my baking sheet inside so i arranged them into a round saucepan it has a very thick layer that is why my cookie came out well without burning i placed salt in a bigger saucepan and then i arranged the cookie in the saucepan here the saucepan you are seeing on the screen then i placed it on the salt i covered it with the saucepan's cover added foil and then covered it with the original saucepan cover and it created the atmosphere for my cookie to get well cooked at this point my cookie is ready because the charcoal is quick i know how to handle it so i was able to get a golden brown cookie just like the ones the oven give others this does not look like it was done on a charcoal but trust me this is right for my charcoal no oven and this is perfect crunchy and tasty you are allowed to eat it raw or combine it with what you choose to combine it with the taste was uniform nothing was overshadowing the other very flaky very crunchy very aromatic my neighbors were wondering what this girl was doing don't forget to click on my homepage to see awesome videos that i have made and stay tuned for future uploads thank you for 2k subscribers i appreciate you all stay blessed